On the table, we return to action with Ben 10 action figures from Playmates Toys, Wave 2 Aliens. Finally, something new to transform into. Hold on to your boots, squirrel. Things are about to get... Whoa, that's an awesome alien transformation. Let's start off with one of my favorites from the original and the new upgrade with Upgraded Drone. And check out the free app, Alien Experience. On the back of the card, things to look at, we have a quick bio of the Ben 10 universe. On a road trip with his cousin Gwen and his grandpa Max, Ben finds an alien watch, the Omnitrix, which allows him to transform into 10 different aliens. Once transformed, Ben takes on the alien's appearance and powers. While always remaining a 10-year-old boy, the result, the ultimate kid superhero. Then of course, Upgrade has a bio. This futuristic alien uses nanotechnology to enhance devices he comes into contact with. But that's not the only trick up his sleeve. Upgrade can also morph into liquid state to get himself out of any sticky situation with Upgraded Drone. And of course, other figures available. Now's a good time to open up Upgrade from Package. Lurching outside of the package is Upgrade. Lurching? Because you're kind of hunched forward, okay? We're starting Wave 2 off with a bang. This is a really nice, shiny, translucent purple figure with lots of techie line work and pretty cool hands. Great for dishwashing. Tell me, Upgrade, do you work with any of the Intel guys? Who? From pretty much every angle, Upgrade is a great Ben 10 alien action figure. Well, duh, 2.0. It's only drawback possibly being a larger, heavier upper torso, which gives a little bit of imbalance to those smaller legs. Once again, I will complain, just increase the footprint just a little bit, and you wouldn't have that problem. What kind of articulation does this guy have? Looks like there's something up in the shoulders. We can rotate around, but I don't think we can pull our arm out. We've got cool elbows. We have hinge movement and rotation. Pretty basic. As for the waist, we have some waist rotation. And for the hips, some hinges, and it looks like some rotational as well. No knees on the guy, and I don't think we have 360 head rotation unless you do this. For the most part, a really nice futuristic purpley alien toy. I would say possibly fitting into my top three of favorite Ben 10 aliens, but that top three does change almost every three days. So let's take a look at that upgraded drone. Looks like it's just a little bit of a piece of plastic drone toy. I don't see any articulation or anything to it, it's just kind of like a little model. Good to have, better than nothing. Doesn't look like you can snap in anywhere or do anything like that. It would have been kind of a neat feature if you could snap it onto his back for some reason. I know that doesn't really happen, but that would be kind of a neat feature. That is Upgrade everybody, any last words? So can I upgrade your camera or not? No. Ah. Oh. Hey, who did that? As much as I care for Upgrade, I don't really care for Stinkfly. Not that it isn't an interesting character, Ben just gets a little overly silly with Stinkfly sometimes. With Flying Zipline, check out the free Alien Experience app. On the back of the card, let's go right to the bio. Stinkfly, P-U. This flying insect is the smelliest alien of all. Stinkfly is quick and agile, but don't be fooled. He's not just speedy. He can also shoot streams of gross fluid that choke and blind his enemies. I do like zip lines though, so will the flying zip line redeem this figure and perhaps make Stinkfly maybe one of my favorites of three? We will see. And a Stinkfly outside of the package looking actually kind of cool. Now I believe Stinkfly was one of the few aliens that got a major redesign. Some of our aliens like Four Arms and Accelerate pretty much stayed really close to the originals, whereas Stinkfly is quite a bit different, which I think turned out to be a pretty good solution, having some aliens look old and some aliens look new. You gotta change something up when you reboot. And I think there's a lot of play value in this toy. 
Once again, pretty much every angle of this figure looks pretty good. And it looks like there's a little more articulation than what we saw in Upgrade. Let's check that out. You see shoulders hinged and rotation out and up and everywhere. Uh, elbows and we can rotate the arm around. Very good. Do we have wrists? Yes, we have wrists. Sometimes that's included with just the arm. Uh, hips, we've got hinges, and we can also rotate all the way around. We've got waist rotation, and we've got head rotation. Yay, 360. Oh, back to the legs. Do we have knees? We do, we have knees, and they rotate. Looks like they mostly just hinge. So a really fun articulated figure. Usually it's a little easier to add joints to tall spindly figures. As for the wings, there's nothing really to articulate there, but there is a hook on there and that's probably how we're going to work this zip line. Yuck, stinky, squishy, just like stink fly. Whew. Stay calm when untangling the rope by the way. So it looks like we have two points of suction cup reference. We can suction cup, uh, I would imagine this, ouch, this would be our base, maybe. I guess it doesn't really matter. And then find another spot. And then we can give it a go and do some zip lining. Ouch. Might have to try that feature somewhere else with more room and increase the rope length. Thanks for stopping by, Stinkfly. You're welcome. Hey! Where is this claw coming from? Another alien changed quite significantly, Wildvine. I think used to have four legs, right? This action figure with battle vines? Check out the free app. The bio on the back of the card. Wildvine. This weird and wonderful alien can transform into plant matter to camouflage himself. He also grows powerful vines from his long limbs to swing into action or to use as weapons. Nothing can stop the mighty vine. Very well, let's grow this out of the package. There we go with the Wild Divine. Say what you will about the reboot. These action figures are pretty sweet. The intensity of the green on this figure is awesome. Looks like on the back we have a spot to attach this vine piece. There we go. Looking growy. Once again, every angle of these figures is covered for looking great. As for articulation with Wild Vine here, we've got shoulders, elbows. I don't think we have wrists because of all that vineage. We've got hips, rotation leg all the way around, knees, swingy swing, no ankles. Oh, we do have a waist. I wasn't sure we were going to have a waist with this figure. It's a little bit awkward because of the way the torso goes over it, but you will have some rotation there, which is good. And a head rotation, I suppose. Looks like, uh, yeah, maybe 180, because again, the ridge of the plant around the back. So some of the growth is in the way of the, the articulation, but for the most part, you can get this guy into a lot of great positions. We have this cool arm addition. Where are we gonna put this? It's going to clip on somewhere. I kind of want to clip it over his uh, muscle there. And I think that's the right spot according to the uh, back of the box there. Looks good, it's almost like he has a third arm coming around. Perhaps it would have been kind of fun to have another one of those for his leg. You should be able to put a lot of extra things in there too. Like this brick separator, it helped me open the package. Well, Wild Vine, thanks for stopping by. Anytime! Hey, who did that? Okay, the last alien to look at, probably a favorite with everyone, Overflow with Water Blasts. Check out the free app. On the back of the card, Overflow. This aquatic alien can breathe underwater, shoot high powered aqua blasts, and blast heavy armor to defeat his enemies. Overflow can propel himself high into the air and even transform his water jets into blades to cut his enemies down to size. Overflow outside of the package looking splashtacular. Of course, I'm the new best alien. I'm sure there would be debate on that. Overflow is a pretty big bulky figure. 
but also kind of spindly in some parts. Check out this back panel by the way, it looks like they almost incorporated some sort of action feature, possibly with water pushing. I really like this futuristic fire hydrant like look. Water piping and containers seem to be abundant, feels like something with a very cool attitude. Looks like we have little water jet accessories to place on his arms. Now we're getting wet. I definitely appreciate this method of action versus a projectile and or drippy water plumbing system inside. This easily could have been one of those figures that shoot water out of the arm and then got moldy inside. Articulation pretty good like the others. We have some shoulders, although it's a little bit contained by the suit. We've got elbows and rotational arms. Looks like the hands also rotate, which is good. Obviously no head rotation. Uh, we've got hip on hinges and rotation out. And we even have some knees down there hidden besides the back there. We can find a good place to bend it. Kind of bends side to side. It's a little weird. Maybe because I've got this going. There we go. Now it's now we've got it going right. It's a little tricky getting his legs into position. And we also have waist rotation. Kind of something that looks like Dr. Eggman would create to fight Sonic the Hedgehog. Overall pretty good figure, a little bit light in the torso area because of the plastic shell kind of thing. I'm pretty sure it's pretty hollow in there and a very light plastic. And with these small legs and large upper body, he can be a little tippy at times. But he's got a pretty good footprint, so thanks for splashing by. Anytime. It's what I like to always say. Ah! Who keeps doing that? Where's my figures? Nobody boy can explain! Steam Smythe! Steam Smythe, a Victorian era master of all things mechanical, this villain can create monstrous steampunk devices like Scorpion Stinger or the Squiddish Clocktopus to help him destroy anything that gets in his path. That's right! I've commandeered your light with my claw and have kidnapped all your precious aliens! What are you going to do about it? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is call the horrible impression police. Meh. Listen, Smythe, I hate to stop a good diabolical plan and such. You do realize someone has already claimed that black lamp. Hmm, what are you talking about? <laughs> that stick bought Monkey's lamp, and he's not happy. Oh, I'm not afraid to no Monkey. <laughs> Let go of me! That's Steam Smythe, everybody, and uh, Stickbot Monkey for the second video in a row. Alright, where did all the figures uh, Steam Smythe took off with? They're over there! Oh, thank you. So there we go, Stinkfly, Overflow, Upgrade, and Wild Vine. Four new amazing Ben 10 figures found in the Wave 2 line of Playmates toys. I think if you want something big and hulky, look for Overflow. If you want something techy, look for upgrade. Something viney, wild vine. And something stinky, stink fly. Hey, I have a bit of a glandular problem, okay? And for fun, a group shot of all ten of Ben. We look good. Now let's throw some stuff. Ha 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 ha! Revenge! Revenge! Ben 10 toys from Playmates Toys are on store shelves 2017. Each will run approximately $8.99. If you like Overflow, Wild Vine, Upgrade, and Stinkfly, these are just appearing on shelves. And if you could, keep an eye out for a Dr. Anemo for me. If you enjoy a wide variety of crazy alien toys, look no further than the Ben 10 collection. But if you're looking to pick up a Stinkfly, Perhaps also add Febreze to your list. That's what I have to say about that. By whisking one squirrel tail around, an aroma far greater than Febreze will fill the air. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. I don't know, there's something I really like about you, Stinkfly. I know, Mikey, there's something I like about you, too! Do you keep your room messy and stinky, too? Well, my name isn't Stinkfly! Come on, let's go get some pizza with strange toppings! 
Sounds good to me! Wow, and he can fly too! 